<laughs> All right, guys. So it's been a couple of days since we had the TRX4 out in the water, and it's been in a lot of water. It's been upside down in there. It's been fully submerged for like probably half an hour, all in all. So we'll just take it out for a quick spin, see how well it still drives, and then we'll take a couple of bits off. Let's have a look if any water's got inside it. I'm not going to strip it down too bad. You know, I'm not going to go inside the gearbox, but I want to have a quick look in one of the portals, maybe in the receiver box, and just see if any water's got in, how waterproof this thing really is. So, all right, guys, let's have a little play. So to set up a little crawler track, so you've got an angle grinder, WD-40 drill, couple of hoverboards, truggy, wheelie bar, pallet, and an X-Max. Alright, let's see if we can do it a bit faster. Alright, so far it seems to be driving perfectly. So let's whip the cover off and have a quick look what's inside. Alright, so to start with, I think I'll just have a little peek inside the receiver box. So I know the X-Max one let a lot of water in. And it actually killed one of my receivers. So I'm curious to see if anything's got into this one. Ha, <laughs> look at that guys. That is totally... Whoa, alright, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get you off of this for a minute. Almost fully dry. It's got a few droplets in there, look. You see that? So, let's let a tiny bit of water in. Alright, let's have a quick look in one of the portal boxes. That oh, still moves nice and free. Let's have a quick look inside it. Tiny bit in there guys. There's a little bit of water in there. Not a massive amount. Maybe have a quick look under this cover as well. I'm not going to strip the whole gearbox down guys. If it starts playing up I'll have to. But Something going on in there guys, look. Is that sand in there? That's full of sand in there, guys. Look at that. Don't know where the hell that got in. So I would say this thing is definitely not fully waterproof. When I thought this gear sounded a bit rough, it's probably because all that sand's got in here. All right, so I have to clean that out and put it back together. Look down there, look, it's even standing water. All right, so it says on the box waterproof, and I don't know, it's a bit of a fib. It kind of is waterproof and it ain't. I mean, you can go through water, 
But if you care about your TRX4, you, you know, you've got to strip the whole thing down and clean all the water out, do all your bearings, make sure your portals and your gearbox and your diffs and your receiver box, everything. You literally have to strip the whole thing down. So, all right, guys. If you like that video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button so you stay notified, and see you soon.